Bear County schools are not allowed to open, reopen for face-to-face -face instruction before September 7th, which is Labor Day. Labor Day gives us a little bit of time, gives a little bit of certainty to the parents and the students of what to expect for at least the next six weeks. The start of on-campus instruction could be pushed back even further based on the public health data. This new health directive applies to students from pre-K through 12th grade. Athletic competitions and all other school-sponsored events are not allowed in person until schools resume on-campus instruction. Teachers can do virtual instruction from their classrooms as long as they're alone and the building's occupancy stays at 10 percent or lower. And schools have five weeks to develop a written health and safety plan for returning to campus. Tonight's move comes after the Texas Education Agency said that local public health authorities could keep schools closed without risking state funding. Today, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton said local government orders cannot keep religious private schools from having in-person classes. Here's what San Antonio Mayor Ron Nirenberg had to say about that. It's starting to feel like if, if our interest is in saving lives, we should do our best to ignore our attorney general. The mayor says the San Antonio faith community has been proactive about following guidance during this pandemic, whether required to or not. The attorney general sent a letter to religious schools today saying they are protected by the First Amendment and Texas law. He says they can, quote, deter continue to determine when it's safe for their communities to resume in-person instruction free from any government mandate or interference, end quote. 